Hey, man. What is meant by the momentum of a story and how do we create it in our own tales? Let's get to it. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stavros Halvatsis. A story without momentum flatlines. At best, it bores the reader or audience. In her book, Making a Good Script Great, Linda Seeger provides valuable advice about how to avoid a slackening in the forward thrust of your story. Seeger, to paraphrase her, explains that momentum is the force that sustains the pace of the story. At the core of this process is the relationship that exists between scenes. That, of course, an effect, or to put it in another way, Action and reaction. This does not apply to all scenes, of course. Some scenes are simply bridging interludes, such as crossing the road or scenes that serve the subplot. These scenes are less tightly bound to the engine of the plot, but in terms of the story's chief through line, a causal relationship, a relationship of action, reaction, of push and pull, should be the order of the day. In Witness, the end of Act 2 provides a good example of momentum at work. First, an eyewitness to a murder, a young Amish boy, Samuel, identifies Officer McPhee as the murderer to John Book. I want you to tell me everything you saw when you went in the bathroom. Two men? I only saw one. John visits his boss, police chief Paul Schaefer, to give him the news, but is asked to keep it quiet. John returns to his apartment, where he is set upon and shot by Officer McPhee in an attempt to silence him. As a consequence, John realizes that his boss has communicated the information to McPhee and must be involved in the previous murder. A wounded John Book manages to pick up Rachel, Samuel's mother, and Samuel and drive them to the Amish farm to seek shelter. This in turn leads to the next scene in which, as a result of his injury, John passes out. Upon regaining consciousness, he realizes that he will have to shelter at the Amish farm for some time while Rachel nurses him back to health. Notice how each scene is tightly bound to the next through causality, one event causing another, allowing no slackening in the tale. The result? Momentum is maintained throughout, drawing the audience into the story and keeping them there. To sum it all up then, story momentum arises as a result of causally connected scenes propelling each other along the through line of the story. This preserves pace, maintains tension and contributes to audience or reader involvement. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, hitting the like button and leaving a comment to share your thoughts and to help the channel grow. See you soon.